Well, hey there, everybody. My name is Triburgus, and welcome to Car Mechanic Simulator. This is our new garage, and I feel like we should just go straight on in and get our first job done. So the goal for our little mechanics shop here, which is an utter mess, apparently, will just be to see if we can scam as many customers as possible, because we gotta make some serious buck here if we wanna make a living as a mechanic, because we need the biggest, the greatest, the most beautiful mechanic shop that you have ever seen. Right, so first things first is that we just want to go over here and pick up the phone and see if there are any good jobs for us. So, we got two jobs at the moment. I think this is... We got a time job and we just got a story order here. Uh, this is not a story order. So, I'm thinking if we take the story orders, well, then we're also going to be progressing through the stories. But then again, this car looks to be something that will make us the most money. Maybe. Let's just see what it is. Alright, and the job is here. It looks to be in great shape, so I feel like we should get it inside and see what uh, what's wrong with it. So it's a rather easy job, this one. We have to refill the brake, brake fluid, the power steering fluid, and the windshield washer fluid. So that is a pretty easy job. Just remove this for now so that we can actually see what's going on down here. So the power steering fluid is right there. The windshield washer is there. Coolant. Wait, what did they want us to change again? Brake, power, steering, and windshield washer. So brake fluid is right here, right? I think so. Just unscrew this. Do we have to drain the old one first? I feel like we have to. Oh. You did not drain the fluid before removing the part cleaner. God damn it. Okay, so I guess we had to. Now, um, yeah. Well, let's just reattach that. <laughs> and let's see if we can just refill it now without buying a new one. So here's the brake fluid. I feel like we're doing good. How much? I don't know how much we have to fill into this. Oh. Right, there we are. So we get the max there. Couldn't see the max one before, but now that we have fluid in there, it's a bit easier to see. Uh, so let's not make the same mistake twice. I feel like if we just get it up here on the lift, there she goes. I would love for you to just go a bit further. So do we have any draining caps down here that we can use? Or am I just going to have to suffer from the fact that I don't know how to drain this? Examination mode. What if we go to this? So we got a windshield washer reservoir over there, but I don't see anything to drain it with. Maybe we just have to suck that bad boy out of there. So let's get it down again. Oh, wait, hold up a second. Maybe we need something to use here that we got to use in order to drain it. Maybe the toolbox? Nope. Maybe the tool? Nope. Interior detailing kit. I don't think we need that either. Don't we have like... So I'm kind of wondering if they just don't want us to drain these before we refill them. So I'm just going to refill it and then, you know, we're going to pray. When is this full? Uh. Oh, right there. I think... Wait, that thing can take just a bit more. Perfect. Now, the main goal here will just be to see if we can charge them extra for just refilling this and wasting more of our fluids here than we potentially have to. Where on earth is the max on this? I got no idea where the max is here. So, yeah. I guess that's fine. Now, the real question is, was that it? Oh, it was. Okay, so we just had to refill it. That was... It. Now, is there anything else that we can charge her for here? I'm thinking we're just going to put the car back on the lift here and just see if there's anything that we can pull off that the customer might not notice that we can then sell and we're just not going to tell them. I want to know what happens if we just, like, remove the exhaust and then we kind of forget to put the hood back on there because that thing, well, the person might notice in case we try to grab that thing. But let's get it outside again and see if it actually drives now. Right, so here it is. Let's get in and start the car. It's most definitely working. I'm just kind of wondering if we can also drive it. The following part is missing from the car. We have mufflers. Well, damn it, they noticed. So I guess we cannot do that. What a shame. So I guess we just got to bring it in here again and just lift her up quickly and get that rear muffler back on. We're not going to be stealing people's parts without them noticing. It would have been so much easier though. So <laughs> let's just see if we can get this back on there. It should be right here, I think. Well, there it is. The rear muffler is back. I don't know if this is a part of the deal, but I kind of still want to just take it for a spin and see if it's good. So what if we take it to the racetrack and just go there? It definitely should be a part of it to take your customer's car for a ride on a racetrack. This thing is quick. Wow. Okay. It is also maybe just a bit too scary quick. I don't know if you break it, you buy it. I don't know if that's a part of the company policy or if we have some sort of contract that it removes all responsibility from my shoulders. If we don't, well, then we definitely should arrange that. I love it how this speedometer is so off. It says that we're doing 210 right now, even though we're barely doing 200. It's still a very quick car, though. Gosh, turn, 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 turn. Oh, lovely. 
Oh, no, 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 no. This is when we go back and just pretend that nothing happened. I mean, I'm sure the car is fine, right? It looks to be. Let's just hand it over to the customer before we make any more dents in this. So, car status, finish the order. How the hell did I just lose money from that? What did I do? What a great start to our mechanic career here. <laughs> Let's go back to the phone and see if there's anything else that we can get from here. That was misery. So the next one is the story mode one. That is the only one available to us right now. So it took us one card to just make sure that no one wants to use our services anymore. What a great start. Let's see what's wrong with this thing. Okay, that's a lot of things. So brake pads, fuel pump, oil filter, round oil filter, four new tires. And we can do that and then change the brake fluid, the power steering, and the windshield washer fluid. So we just have to refill that. The other two we have to change. And then we have to change the oil as well. Well, I am quite confident that we can do that. So let's just bring this thing up and maybe we should just start with the fluids because we know how to do those now and I'm very confident in those. And then since we lose money, if we give them more than max limit is, then apparently they don't want to pay us. So we got to make sure that we don't refill this too much. Oil fluid draining machine. Move equipment to the car lift. There we are. We got to use this thing and use. There it is. Right. So that was the oil drained. I think we can move this back now. And was that all we have to do here? I'm just going to go into the examination mode here and just examine all of the stuff here. All right. So that is not looking too good. Let's just see what the left side is as well. The lesser than 50% pretty much all of them. I honestly have no idea what it gives us to sit here and examine all of this, but I'm guessing that it's going to give us something good because we're getting exp experience for everything that we examine. So the quicker I do this, the quicker we're going to get into levels. So I'm assuming that even though I don't think I have anything to do with the information that I get right now, well, then why not just do it? So yeah, I finished examining the car and it looks like it's just about all of it a piece of shit. So <laughs> I don't really know what we should do here, but uh, let's just get it back down because I don't know if we have anything to do here. We may, we actually had something with uh, some brakes here. So if we just go into our car status once more. So brake pads, are those the front or the back ones? I see a brake caliber there and I see a brake caliber there. I don't see a brake caliber down here though. So that means that this might be a drum brake. So if we go up here and we just remove this, there we are. Uh, in case of the screw stuck, but we can loosen that with a right click. I see there we are. Give it some WD 40 <laughs> there. Let's get those out of there. Oh man, I'm absolutely loving this. There is nothing more satisfying than taking all of this stuff apart. And then the greatest thing is that I don't have to sit here and remember where I put all of the screws and where I put all of the parts because the game is going to remember that for me because otherwise this car would never be put back together again. And then we're going to get those brake pads off and we're going to go over here, work on this part and remove this one as well. Man, I cannot wait till we dig deeper into this game because it seems like there's just so much to do. I love the fact that we can actually test all of our customers cars. So hopefully we're going to see some exciting cars as we as we go about this. So we can now go to the computer and we can just buy two new brake pads. So if we go to car parts and brakes and brake pads and we need two of those, buy those and we're good to go. Then the only thing we have to do is just mount these brake pads again. So I'll just use these old parts here. Screw this back in and there we are. Let's do the other side as well. Right, let's go back to the computer. Let's find some new tires for this thing. I think in order to find the right tires, we also need to know... Whoops. We gotta know the size of the tires that we're buying. I'm thinking if we just go to the tire changer here and we separate these. Then while that happens, I can actually just go over here and remove the rear wheels because we have to get those off of it as well. In case we want to change those tires, so... Oh, got to loosen it up. And there we go. That is the rear right tire <laughs> going from there. And then we got to get over here too. And then if I look at my inventory now, a basic rim, 15 inches. And then we got a standard tire, which is 215 by 75 and a 15 inch tire. 215 by 75. Let's just remember that so we don't buy the wrong one. That is a very expensive tire. Or well, if you just make it low profile and then just make it cheaper, how about that? Oh, I gotta do that four times. Could have just done that and now I bought a 12 inch tire because I'm dumb. But hey, it's fine. There we are. Buy those tires for the car and let's get them on the rim. I just kind of want to make sure that we can actually install some of these new ones. I think we can. Oh, yes, we can. So they're going to get some smaller tires. I hope they don't notice. We got to do what we got to do in order to make money. How much did that 12 inch set us back? 
We get 30 back, so we lost 30 from that. Could have been worse, but I'm not too happy about it. Since I don't know what else to do while that is running, we might as well just balance your tires as well. I don't think it's necessary, but I'm kind of hoping that we can just charge extra. And just as I say that, I'm wondering if there's anything else we can do to this car that they didn't really order us to do, but I'm assuming that since I'm the mechanic and I know more about cars than they do, then I'm kind of wondering if we can just tell them that it's like that. Let's get the tires back on. I didn't really even notice this until now, but this place is an absolute mess. So I'm assuming that later on, we're probably maybe going to get this cleaned up so that we have more room to do more mechanic works and like that, make more money. So yeah, that is the last of the tires back on. Now let's see what else we had to do because I forgot. Again, if I could find my way through this, that would be so much easier. So a fuel pump, an oil filter, and round air filter. We have to change those two. The oil, well, we drained the old, but we didn't refill it yet. We also have to just refill all of these fluids. So I think we have to bring it down if we want to do any of that. All right, and there it is. Let's open her up and see what it's like down here. This thing is so dirty. I mean, if they took it to the car mechanic, they could at least clean it before they came here. I think the easiest is just to remove this completely. Now, let's see. Work on the engine here. So, we got an air filter cover. Kind of want to just remove that first of all. And then the round air filter. I think we had to change that, right? Round air filter. Oh, yes. And the oil filter. So, if you just start out by removing this and then air filter base, do we have to remove that too? I don't even know if we do. I don't think we have to. But I'm also thinking if we change it, if we can just charge extra. So I'm just going to go ahead and just risk it and remove that too. Right. Perfect. And I'm pretty sure that the fuel pump is that thing just down there. So if you just focus on this. Oh, yes, it is. No, that's the oil filter. But we had to change to that one too because it's in an absolutely terrible shape. So, oh, we have to get it back up on the lift again. Of course we do. Well, there it is. So take that one off. Just screw that off. Perfect. And then we have the... Why is it so freaking hard to get to the fuel pump? Let's just remove that one as well. So now that we got those cars parts removed, let's go back into the parts shop here. Let's see car parts. And what we needed was an air filter for a V8, I think. Let's buy that. We removed the base as well. I'm hoping that we can just charge extra once we replace that. I'm not 100% sure, but I also don't know if you can get one. Oh, there it is. Lovely. Here's another fuel pump. That's an expensive one. And then lastly, we need the oil filter. There's two different ones for the V8. So I'm just going to go for the cheapest one because, yeah, I'm cheap like that. Then we have to get the oil filter back. And we bought the wrong one. Perfect. The good thing is that I know we bought the right fuel pump at least. So let's get that new one in there. Install that. Beautiful. And we're just going to go to the shop again and buy the right one. See, this is what you get for trying to be a cheapskate. You just end up wasting more money that you earn than you earn. Which is a shame, but I mean, it's also... It's probably better that way. At least if you want more than one episode. <laughs> it's a good thing that people didn't already lose hope in me. Did I actually install that? Yes, I did. Then we have to install this stuff up here. So part mount. The round air filter base. Uh, I feel like we can't really use the one that we just bought either. I think I bought the wrong one, but I honestly cannot be bothered at this point. Is that the new one? Why is it so dirty? Please don't tell me that we bought the wrong one there as well. Oh, we should have bought one for two carburetors and we didn't. But now that we have that one, we're just going to remove the effort of the base again. And I'm just going to install that because now we really have to make sure that whoever owns this car, that they're willing to pay us a lot of money, like a lot of money for replacing parts that they otherwise didn't know that they even needed to be replaced. There, good. Put the air filter cover back on. Tighten this bolt again. And I think the only thing we need now is just the fluids. So we need new oil and brake fluid, power steering, windshield. So the windshield is easy because that one just needs a refill. So we're just going to remove the cap and we're going to refill this. Now this time I'm not going to give them more than highly necessary, but I still don't know where the max limit is. So I'm just going to assume that it's there and I'm hoping that that's all right. Now what about here? Brake fluid and power steering. So power steering is right here. Let's remove the cap. Now how the hell do I drain this? I mean, it looks pretty empty already, right? Okay, there is a tab here called Special Tools. So this is the drain tool. We're just going to drain it. There. I think we drained it completely. Then we can go back to unscrewing this. And then we can refill it with their power steering fluid. Lovely. I hate the fact that it's so hard to see when this is filling up. Because the first red bit there that fills up is actually not the one that we need. There we are. But we need that solid red color to fill up as well. Because that is just a terrible depth perception. Right. And the brake is servo. And I think this might actually be the last one that we got to do. And we just don't want to pour too much of this in there again. So stop. And for the last time, let's check our list here. Oh, we still need to refill the, the oil. We haven't even done that. Now, the real question is where the oil is. Oh. Is it that thing? The oil dipstick. Remove that. It's definitely empty. Oh, there it is. The oil fill plug. Lovely. 
Let's remove this as well and just um, get some oil in there. Now, how do I know when this is full? Because I cannot really see it filling up. I feel like when 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 the bottle starts to tilt like that, that's when it's full. Let's just check the oil stick here. Remove that. And that's not full. Perfect. Let's go back and do it again. So, just a little bit more. Oh, God, it's spilling. So, I think it's full. Perfect. One more time, cast that is. We did all of this. We did that. We did that. I think the car is done. We have to get the hood back on though. There she is. And as we remove that, we actually cleaned it partially. Considering the terrible effort last time, I don't think we should take this to the racetrack. But at the same time, I just really get this feeling that we should take this for the racetrack. So <laughs> let's do that. So the car sounds great, but it feels like an absolute brick and not something that belongs on a racetrack. It's still pretty decent though. For once. I love it how the speedometer needle just disappears down there when we are driving too fast. Oh, God, that was a bit too close. You know what? Let's just, uh, <clears throat> we survived. Let's just call it quits. But yeah, that is a job well done. Lovely payout here. At least we didn't lose money this time. And hey, we got a level. So we can now go to the toolbox here and just choose ourselves a new thing to do. We have an increased screwing speed by 10% or mounting, unmounting. I think we're going to go for the screwing because it feels like whenever we have to change tires and the like, then... That's gonna come in handy. So someone handed over this Enden Jaeger to us, which is definitely not an old Volkswagen Golf. Um, it's just not. So let's look at that one in the next episode. Hope you enjoyed this. Until next time. Bye bye.